In 2016, as a final year medical student, I lost a very dear friend and colleague to suicide. He was my family GP um, and also my community's GP. At the same time, I was struggling with a significant amount of pressure and anxiety related to my final medical school exams and was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. At this point in my life, I felt incredibly alone and like I was the only person in medicine that could possibly be going through this. And it wasn't until after I got better and actually been discharged from hospital and got out of that situation and finished medical school that I realised that I really wasn't alone um, and that mental illness in all forms, burnout, depression, anxiety, eating disorders, psychotic disorders, OCD, they all affect healthcare workers, doctors and other healthcare workers um, to a significant degree. Unfortunately, there's so much stigma attached to this and this old school mentality that for some reason as healthcare workers, we're supposed to be heroes and we're not supposed to be human. We can't ask for help or we can't tell people that we're struggling because we're supposed to in some way be above this. I felt that this was the time to really put things into action and see what we could actually do to support our colleagues. And so that's where my idea of hand-in-hand -hand peer support came about. Sometimes it's nice just to see a friendly smile on the other end or, you know, have someone even just, we normally ask people how they're going, so even just have someone reciprocate that is, is a nice little gesture. So Hand in Hand provides free, confidential, peer-to-peer -peer support um, to all healthcare workers um, across Australia and New Zealand. We put the idea out on social media and within 24 hours we had 400 healthcare workers across Australia reach out to us saying they wanted support. And this grew exponentially over the next few months as COVID actually came into Australia and began to have an impact on our healthcare system. Our jobs are so stressful and they demand so much of people that if we don't look after our healthcare workers, we're not going to have them there to look after us. And we need them to be well, we need them to be feeling well and we need them to be able to perform at their best. For any healthcare worker out there who is struggling at the moment or who is feeling burnt out, reach out to us or reach out to any other services that are available that you feel comfortable asking for help from.